episode 38, CHT Puppet Storytime. Hello! Hi, CHT! Hi, Sue Jung! We're going to read a very short story okay. from this wonderful book <gasps> called Little Leaders. Oh, okay! Bold Women in Black History. Oh, that one's an astronaut. Yes, and it's all about women who will who were trailblazers. Oh. And some of the stories in here, there's 40 different stories. Some of the stories in here of women that have gone before us. Oh. And some are still alive today, making a big difference. Oh, hear that. Today we're going to read about Sojourner Truth. And she lived well into her 80s. All right, so I'm going to let you look at the picture Ooh, while I read about Sojourner. Abolitionist, women's rights advocate. Sojourner was born a slave in upstate New York under the name Isabella Bonfrey. Under the state's Gradual Emancipation Act, she was due her freedom in 1827. When she realized her slave owner was planning to keep her enslaved, Sojourner ran away with her infant daughter in tow. But this came at a huge cost. She had to leave behind her five-year-old son. The slave owner sold Sojourner's son to a plantation a thousand miles away in Alabama. Meanwhile, Sojourner remained in hiding in New York until her freedom was official. When the coast was clear, Sojourner filed a court case saying her son had been sold illegally. She was one of the first black women to file a court case in America, and even though it seemed nearly impossible, she won. She got her son back. In 1843, she changed her name to Sojourner, which means traveler, and became a preacher. She traveled the country, sharing her message for women's rights and the abolition of slavery everywhere. Although Sojourner could neither read nor write, her voice carried far. In December 1851, she gave a speech she made up on the spot. In it, she advocated on behalf of black women who faced the double discrimination of racism and sexism and had often been left out of the fight for equality. The speech is known by its most famous refrain, Ain't I a Woman? She went on to encourage African Americans to fight on behalf of the Union in the Civil War for former slaves to be given places, places to live, and for desegregation of streetcars. She was an agitator and a fierce activist for equality. Clap, 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 clap. I love that. She was an agitator, mm -hmm. kind of like John Lewis, mm. who told us to get into good trouble, yeah. right? So I want you to remember, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can be very young and you can make a big difference. All right, have a good week making a big difference. Bye. Bye. Wait.